parents, children, and guns. Don't go anywhere, we're gonna talk about it right now. Welcome back, everyone. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, guys, just want to take this quick minute for all new subscribers. I want to thank you very much for subscribing to our page. Uh, do us a big favor, please. Uh, like this video, share this video, comment on this video. Uh, it just it helps the channel a lot. We're, we're a growing uh, channel. Uh, we're fairly new, so uh, we do appreciate everybody's support. Uh, guys, just wanted to take um, just a couple minutes, and I, I feel like this topic is very important. Um, I believe it was about a week ago, I was having a conversation with, um, it was uh, two individuals, they took our class um, uh, about two weeks ago, uh, but I spoke to them last week and they, they're considering purchasing a gun and um, I believe they have like two kids, uh, smaller kids. So I figured in my mind, I'm like, you know, I'm, I want to make a video not only for them, but for all viewers, um, regardless of, you know, your experience with firearms uh, regarding if, if specifically if you're a parent. So parents, children and guns. So we're just going to take uh, just a few minutes and we're going to discuss uh, regarding that topic. OK, um, I'll tell you that for me, um, when my children were growing up and, and now with my youngest daughter, um, I've always done the same thing. You know, I've kept my firearms in gun, uh, gun safes and um, and I've trained my children, uh, not only on, on the four universal gun safety rules, but I've trained my children to the point that when they do see one of my firearms, uh, that curiosity, you know, just is no longer there. And one of the ways that I was able to do that was I constantly exposed my children to our firearms. Um, I, in front of them, I made sure that I grabbed the firearm, I cleared it, I verified that the firearm was cleared, I made sure the muzzle was pointed in a safe direction, and I spoke, and I was talking to them throughout um, the steps to the point where they would tell me, you know, just out of, uh, just, you know, making a little game. I remember, uh, well, now he's a teenager, but my, my oldest, when he was young, he would tell me uh, the steps that I was doing as I was doing it. He's like, no, don't, don't tell me. I, I know what, you know, and he will go on, you know, okay. You're, you're verifying the, uh, that there's no extra, uh, ammo in the chamber. Uh, you're removing the magazine, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's important that, that we educate our kids on, uh, obviously don't, don't let them hold the gun until you, the parent made sure and verified that the weapon is clear. Okay. Um, so I would do that um multiple times uh to the point where it just got boring <laughs> um another thing when my son would ask me you know he'll come into the room and say hey uh you know i want to see uh this gun you know what whatever it was um i w even though i was tired i would never say hey you know not not right now you know we'll we'll do it later i would never i would never dismiss him i would always say absolutely come on because the reason i would do that is they have a curiosity if he's asking because there's trust and if he's asking is because he's curious. So what I try to do is eliminate that curiosity immediately. So I would bring him over to the safe. I'll, you know, I'll clear it. And once we both verified that it was 100 percent clear, then I would hand the uh, firearm uh, over to him and I would supervise how he was holding it and made sure his finger was off the trigger. Uh, explain to him the importance behind the four universal gun safety rules etc. So that is extremely important. Having a gun safe is extremely important, uh, parents, um, uh, for various reasons, not only for children, but you may have guests coming over to sleep for a night or two, family members, um, you know, and you don't want anyone just, you know, um, uh, going around the home and finding a gun, maybe on, in the closet, on the, on the top shelf of the closet. So it's very important that you invest in a safe. Okay. Um, now let's talk about having a gun on the night table, you know, when, when you go to sleep and you have children, this situation is going to be different for every parent. Okay. You really need to be confident in your, 
uh, training abilities to talk to your children. And you need to feel confident that your children understand uh, your stance on gun safety, number one. And you need to also have, uh, you know, uh, faith in them that, you know, hey, I'm confident in my children's ability. They, I know they won't touch my gun. In the middle of the night, you know, if I keep it in, in the night table, you know, where I can get to it relatively quickly, it's next to me in my bed or whatnot. Um, you need to be confident that your child is not just going to wake up in the middle of the night and come over to the room because, uh, you know, they woke up with a curiosity. Uh, I, I cannot tell you um, how to do that. That's something you need to be honest and real with yourself and say, you know what? No, I don't feel confident enough. Uh, I'm not going to leave my gun in the night table. I'm just going to leave it in the safe. And if something happens at night, I'll just run to the safe. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to how to live your life. That's something you're going to have to, you know, answer that question uh, w within yourself and, and talk to your children. Um, I can tell you for me, I'm 100% confident in my children. Uh, and that doesn't mean that I turn the blind eye. Absolutely not. I'm still a parent at the end of the day. So it's my responsibility um, as a parent to oversee my children. Um, so with that being said, uh, you may be a parent that feels 110% confident in your children. You know their ability and gun safety rules and how they respect the tool. So you may be um, a parent that does have the firearm um, ready to go, one in the chamber, in a holster, you know, on the night table. So God forbid if there was, uh, you know, any type of bump in the night, you know, you can uh, be a, a good protector uh, for your uh, your family and your home. Um, let's not also dismiss that if you're in the middle, it's like, well, you know, Ivan, I, I, I'm not I'm not fully 100 percent confident, but I know my children respect my firearms. I do keep it in the side of the bed um, and you may have some doubts. Well, guys, you know, it's your home. If it, don't dismiss the fact that you can keep keep it ready but maybe not have one in the chamber uh children tend uh tend to have a very hard time grabbing the slide and, and trying to rack the slide if it's a, a pistol if it's a revolver uh you know depending on the type of revolvers they may be uh you know single action revolvers double action revolvers the double action may may be difficult to pull all i'm saying is you really need to look at your your firearm and decide you know what I'm going to keep it on my bedside. If it's a pistol, I'm just not going to keep it loaded. If something happens, I'll get it, I'll rack it, and I'll go see what's what's going on. That's an option. I'm not telling you how to do or how to live your life. I'm What I'm doing is I'm putting this information out there for you to, to see and then for you to make your own decision. That That's what we're here to do. We're here to educate. So, uh, guys, it, it's actually, this is a, you know, not. I don't want to make this video extremely long. I just wanted to give you the information. It is very important. Please educate your children. Talk to them about the four universal gun safety rules. Um, expose your children uh, to the tool, the firearm. Firearms are not a bad word, okay? Uh, we live in America. I, if other viewers from different countries are watching this, then you're going to have to check your local laws or your, your government laws. I'm not 100% sure how, how laws work outside of the United States. But here, uh, we are a pro-to-state. Um, we do encourage everyone to get educated in firearm, understand how to operate your firearm and use it wisely and responsibly. So guys, I appreciate everybody watching. Um, if you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. I'm going to try my best to answer every question as, as much as uh, we can. And uh, like always, guys, we appreciate the support. Um, catch us over on our Instagram page. We're pretty good in trying to, you know, keep you guys updated with current events or what's happening. So uh, make sure that you follow us there as well. And if you haven't already subscribed, please take the time to do so. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. And until next time. <laughs>